Hey guys, this is Mike, also known as The One Fig Man. I am here in my new greenhouse that I just want to introduce you to. Uh, this is where I've been. Some people have been asking where I've been for a while, so I kind of just want to share with you my uh, greenhouse of figs or my fig forest. Uh, this is kind of new with, uh, with the development of um, all the different types of trees. I have somewhere around, I think now it's around 300 cultivars. I culled a few, I added a few, I'm going to count them up and see what I have. But today, I wanted to show you Mario's Pellegrino. There are a few Pellegrinos out there, one from Europe, one from Mario, and uh, there's a couple other people out there that are selling Pellegrinos that I'm not sure what they really are. But the Pellegrino that I have is from Mario, who, is a, uh, who was a uh, friend of mine that has, uh, had passed, but he, uh, he had a bunch of cultivars that originated in Italy. The Pellegrino fig was named Pellegrino after his friend who was passing. And when his friend was, was passing, he said, <clears throat> Mario, please, uh, you know, if you could please take my, my family fig and, uh, and take care of it. So Mario went ahead and took care of uh, his fig tree and it started off Mario's collection as M1. M stands for Mario and the one was uh, the first fig that he collected or that he started in his inventory. Mario has a long time had lots of different types of figs, but he really wasn't keeping inventory of them and tracking what was going on with them. So this is a special fig because it really represents not only the history behind this person, uh, <clears throat> last name uh, Pellegrino, that uh, was his family cultivar that was passed down the generations, but it also represents Mario's first cultivar that he collected as uh, something that he tracked. So stay tuned, uh, I have tons of bees everywhere. They're ripping apart the figs, but I'm gonna take a look and uh, show you the Pellegrino fig tree shortly. This is Mario's Pellegrino, or M1. This is kind of what the leaf looks like. You can see that uh, I left this fig up here, but it's a fig that, um, that the wasps started to eat. They ate it from the bottom all the way and they'll go all the way up to the top over here. And there were a lot more of them that I've been taking off and trying to clean up to keep the wasps away. So I uh, left this one here where you can see some of the nice cracking that's already starting on it. I've been cutting back the water to kind of dehydrate or to kind of concentrate those sugars inside the fig. But we're going to do a bricks test on this and we will uh, go ahead and uh, try it and see what the fig is like this year. So stay tuned. I'm gonna start collecting some numbers to put up on the screen for you guys. The weight of this fig comes in at 36 grams. For productivity purposes, I'm going to count the figs that the wasps have eaten and uh, put those numbers up there. If you're curious about uh, my productivity numbers, you'll see in some of my other videos on uh, how I calculate that. So here, I wanted to show you the osteol on this. Since I picked it, it started to split. So I'm not sure how good this is gonna be. The osteol was a little bit bigger than normal, which uh, I try to stay away from large osteols. But normally it's a tight osteol, so I'm not sure what's going on with this fig. But like I said before, as I, uh, as I went to pick it, it started to split, and you can see it's kind of splitting some more now. So uh, I'm not sure how it'll affect the taste, but I'll still throw some numbers up there. But just keep this in mind that this may not be the uh, the best example of this fig. And when I have another one, I can always put up another video. You can see the wasps starting to eat away at the skin there. So I'm not sure what's going on. This may be from the wasps or uh, just may be from a, a poor fig. So let's cut this guy open here. best cut. You can see some of the goo that's on the knife. So I can tell you from experience, although this came in around uh, 35 grams, I have had figs of this cultivar, cultivar come in around 40, 42, around there. And the, red, the inside is a little more uh, red from time to time. Other times it is commonly like this. Let's get this a little bit closer to the camera, see if we can focus on that.
and we'll uh, we'll give this a try. I'm going to use this part for uh, the brick scale. Light seed crunch, still very sweet. Not super berry, but you have some notes of berry there. Hints of vanilla, delicious fig. This is, uh, I thought this fig was gonna be sour, and uh, this fig is, is just delicious. So, and already, I've got some white-faced uh, hornets coming around, trying to uh, grab some of this stuff. So, definitely sweet. The bricks number, I'm sure, is going to represent that. Uh, could be wrong, but we'll see. Those numbers are coming up now. Very thin skin. This uh, bring up parts of that skin for you. Kind of uh, dissolves in your mouth. I barely bit into this thing, and you can see how it kind of just broke apart and melted. Very, very gooey. Um, a little bit thinner than a jam consistency, but overall, delicious fig. Very, very sweet. Thanks for watching guys and remember don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get notified of additional videos as I put them up. Thanks for watching.